Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be fixing this old faded headlight. Right now they don't exactly match. This one's a whole lot clearer than the other one, so I'm going to sand this down and polish it with this kit so that it shines like the other one. All you're going to need for this is a drill, the kit, a hose or water source, and some painter's tape. The painter's tape is to tape around the headlight so you don't scratch your paint, but I'm just going to be extra careful and not touch it. But that's just me, you may want to use some tape. Here's a picture of the kit that I'm using today. I'll leave the link right here on the screen and as well in the description of this video. But it comes with several different grades of sandpaper. Starting out here, I'm using the 800 grit. That's the roughest sandpaper. This will really take off a lot of material quickly and you can tell by the particles coming off. They're really yellow and tan coloring. After I rinse this off and go to sand it again, you'll notice it's a lot whiter and that's what you're looking for. Once it starts turning white, you know you've sanded off all of that yellow tint to it and it's gonna be clear. Now, this sandpaper is still pretty rough so it's gonna look cloudy once you're done, but each time I step up to the finer sandpaper, you can tell it gets clearer. This sandpaper really works best when the surface is wet, so it's good to have a hose nearby to keep wetting this down, as well as rinsing off the particles so that you can see what's going on. I'm going to sand this down a bit more with this 800 grit, and then I'll step it up to the 1500. All right, I've done the 800 grit, gotten all the fading off of the headlight. Now I'm gonna step it up to the 1500 grit sandpaper. This is a lot smoother than the last one. Pretty much the trick to this is just sanding it down. This will smooth out all of the scratches from the sandpaper before that was a lot rougher. And this will start smoothing that out so you can get a good polished finish. So I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing. Sand over everything really well twice and rinse this off in between and then I'll go up to the next 3000 grit sandpaper. You can tell a lot less is coming off of the headlight with this finer sandpaper and you can also tell it's a lot more white or clear particles that it's leaving behind and that's a good sign that means i got all the yellowing fadedness off with that first round of sandpaper Now it's time to move to the 3000 grit sandpaper. This is really fine now and it's also on a sponge backing. So it's a lot more gentle on the plastic. There's no chance of gouging now. You just wanna lightly press with this, not hard pressure at all, but just gonna go over pretty much buffing this. Make sure you keep it wet still. 
or else it might end up scuffing or causing some issues but this is going to start making this look really nice it's going to be pretty clear and then after this we're going to move on to using the buffing wheel and some compound that they give you for waxing it All right, we're done with the 3000 grit sandpaper already. This is so much better than what it was before, but this buffing wheel is gonna make it look a ton better. So I'm gonna put some of that compound on here and I'm just gonna keep going over this like I did with the sandpaper, buffing this. And this will continue to buff out any of the scratches from the sandpaper and really smooth out that surface. And the wax will also help seal it and protect it from future damage as well. After buffing this for a few minutes, it's looking really nice. I'm gonna show you guys a quick before and after of this headlight. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So much better than what it used to be, and it almost looks like a new headlight now. And here's my first reaction to seeing this compared to the other light that I was trying to match. Man, now I need to do this one. Now the clear one looks dull compared to that. That looks like a brand new light. I actually wasn't planning on fixing this headlight. It looked clear before, but now this one looks faded compared to the other one. So I'm going to sand this one down and do the whole process for this as well. One minor change in the process, I'm actually going to be jumping straight to the 1500 grit sandpaper. There isn't a lot of really deep damage to this one, it's not really faded, so that 1500 grit will be plenty to just polish this up. So I'll speed through this one, you guys have seen all the same steps on the previous headlights, just repeating them for this side as well. Alright guys, that just about finishes up the video for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'm sure there's a lot of good products out there, but if you're interested in the one that I used today, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. I want to give a big shout out to all my supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and making videos like this possible.
Now, if you find my videos helpful and you'd love to support the channel and help out in any way you can, go check out my Patreon. I'll leave the link down in the description of this video.